In today's news, the public health ministry backpedals on whether its vaccination policy will include foreigners. The UN discusses how to help refugees fleeing the violence from Myanmar and Pfizer vaccines in Thailand. Details on all of this coming right up. สวัสดีครับ You're watching Thailand News today, and before we begin, a shout out to Stephen Falconer for being a Tiger legend. Now you can be one too by hitting that join button to support the channel. And next week, we are launching a replacement to our comment section on the Tiger.com website. It's a dedicated forum called Tiger Talk, and will be much easier to navigate between stories and follow threads of conversations. It should be up running next week sometime, and we'll keep you informed. And also, don't forget to download our new app for Apple and Android. It's totally free and very easy to navigate and use. You can tell it to send you no notifications on topics you're interested in, or no notifications at all. All right, on to the news. While a public health ministry spokesperson declared on Tuesday that COVID-19 vaccines were reserved for only Thais, not expats. The government now says the statement was taken out of context. Yesterday, o p a d Gan g a w i n p o n g from the Disease Control Department backpedaled, saying that foreigners living in Thailand will also be vaccinated. He said anyone living in Thailand, be they Thai or foreign, will be able to get the vaccine if they want it. No one is safe until everyone is safe. He estimated some three million foreign nationals living in the kingdom long term, pointing out that a significant proportion of the migrant worker population in s a m u t s a k h o n has already been vaccinated. The central province was the epicenter of a second wave of infections in December, centered around its coastal fish markets and factories. o p a t says priority for foreigners will be the same way as it is for Thais, the elderly and at risk, as well as those living in high risk areas and people with underlying conditions, will be first in line. And in breaking news today, the public health minister announced early this afternoon that 10 to 20 million doses of the Pfizer vaccine will begin shipping to Thailand in the third and fourth quarter of this year, and that the Thai FDA will facilitate pushing through Pfizer vaccine registrations ASAP. The governor of Chiang Mai is calling for the ban on dining in at restaurants in the northern city to be lifted, and for eateries to be allowed to serve food on site until 9 p.m. His request follows a drop in COVID-19 infections in the northern province over the past week. The CCSA has color-coded Chiang Mai dark red, making it a maximum control zone, along with the central provinces of Bangkok, c h o n b u r i n o n t a b u r i b a t h u m t h a n i and s a m u t p r a k a n Now, according to restrictions imposed on maximum control areas, in-house dining is prohibited at restaurants, which are only permitted to remain open for takeaway orders up till 9 p.m. Now, the governor has appealed the ban in a letter to the CCSA, saying the situation is having a significant impact on the more than 14,000 restaurants and 80,000 workers. Thailand's rice exports fell by 23.6% in Q1 this year, compared to the same time last year. Thai Rice Exporters Association president attributes the drop down to the high prices of Thai rice. Other factors include the strong Thai baht, higher freight costs, and lower domestic supply caused by drought, which has lasted for two consecutive years. The association expects rice export prospects to improve in the third and fourth quarters, hoping to see more supply in the rainy season. Thailand is the world's third largest rice exporter after India, which sells rice at the lowest price, and Pakistan. With ongoing violence in Myanmar between the military junta and ethnic civilian armies, a representative from the UN has held discussions with local authorities in Thailand's Ma Hong Son province, which borders Myanmar. The talks will look into ways to help more than 2,000 Karen refugees who fled their homes to escape the violence. The prominent and well-armed army of the Karen National Union has openly supported the anti-coup movement, leading to violent clashes between the Burmese army. Some fear it may be the start of a long and crippling civil war. 
The Myanmar military launched airstrikes on a Karen village by the Thai border in March. The ongoing violence has forced around 2,160 Karen to flee their homes and cross the river into Thailand. The Ma Hong Son governor spoke at the meeting that the province has already provided refugees with temporary shelters, public health assistance, food, medicine and other necessities. The tourism and sports minister insists the southern island of Phuket must record zero COVID-19 cases if a planned July reopening is to go ahead. Pipat Rajakit Prakan adds that should new infections be reported once 70% of the island is vaccinated, the tourism and public health ministries will work together to decide what action to take. Now, as of today, 22% of Phuket's residents have received at least one vaccine dose, and that situation appears stalled at this time. Tourism operators in Phuket are desperately clinging to the hope that the island's July reopening will go ahead, with many businesses seeing it as their last chance. The so-called sandbox model would see the island reopen to vaccinated foreign tourists with no quarantine. In the last quarter of the year, the minister hopes a similar model will be extended to other parts of the country, including Panga, Krabi, Koh Samui, Pattaya, Chiang Mai, and Bangkok. Around 150 million baht worth of meth pills were impounded in Nakhon Phanom yesterday in a bust of four suspected drug runners. Police and military cooperated to arrest four men aged between 21 to 34, hailing from Mukdahan province. Nakhon Phanom is a northeastern Thai province that borders Laos, separated by the Makhong River. Two vehicles, alleged to be part of a drug trafficking ring, were seized in the bust and found to contain 770,000 methamphetamine pills. The four suspects in the bus allegedly confessed to the drug smuggling, explaining that the methamphetamine had been snuck in long-tail boats along the Makhong River and into Thailand across the Lao border. They said they had done the same drug run a few times in the past and had delivered similar drug shipments to Thailand's inner provinces. They were said to have been paid by a Thai man to transport the drugs, receiving 100,000 baht each time. The district of Satahib, south of Pattaya in Chonburi province, is picking up the pieces after a violent storm struck yesterday. Eleven fishing boats were sunk and at least 20 homes sustained damage, mainly along the coastal strip. It's understood most of the fishing boats belong to the Kaolan Fisheries Group. And the roof of Wat Chong Samasan has also collapsed, significantly damaging the building. No injuries have been reported. And with that, you're up to date on the Tiger. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful weekend. สวัสดีครับ.